Hello, here is the new uh, uh, Make Code app for Microbit that is in uh, Microsoft Store right now. It's a beta version, so everything should not work yet. Uh, here I have a program that uh, prints uh, all uh, sensors to the serial port, and uh, this is made for the Arduino plotter, so uh, we can look at that now. So here is the Arduino plotter, and it's plotting right now. And uh, if I uh, change something here, you will see uh, the changes here. Uh, this I've already made a video about this in uh, ordinary. Windows 10 for a, a laptop. This is a surf tab 7 inch, so it might be difficult to see on the screen. And this yellow light is for the USB serial port. Um, so you can measure light and everything. So it measures everything that uh, this microwave has. You can see, you can change everything. And then uh, we could go back here. Uh, then I made a program for the plotter inside this app because it has its own plotter. And that uh, function uses a different format. Uh, so we should uh, try to load that here. Okay. And select this simulator because I made it for the simulator first. But now uh, you can uh, run it on the real unit. Okay. And so I plugged in this uh, via a USB OTG cable and then uh, the USB cable to the micro bit. Now we can download this to the microbit and it sends it directly now. It doesn't download it to the hard drive, it downloads it to the microbit. Okay, so now uh, that runs here. And we can turn off this uh, simulator here. And then uh, we can choose here. I think I have to turn it now on the side, otherwise you can't choose this. Uh, nothing happens here. But it has worked before. Uh, it's not possible to turn it before. I don't know why. And this doesn't work now. Hmm. I have to restart something. Um. Maneuvers here. Let's see if I. It was possible to turn it before. So I have to uh, make code for microwave. Hmm. Okay. Yes, now it starts here. Uh, yes, and that's the right program, so it remembers the right program here. And it is already running. So now we can choose here uh, Show Data Device. 
And then uh, it plots here, but uh, we don't see that much here. This is uh, not in the same order that we plot them. So here we have a z acceleration theta and button a and uh, magnetic field uh, x, magnetic field y and uh, magnetic field z. Heading here and light and uh, temperature and uh, that is uh, button A, I think. And this here is time since we started running, but uh, divided modulus so it goes down like a thought to us. But this works uh, somewhat, but then uh, they don't sample that often. Then they use some spline functions. Uh, in order to make a smooth curve, but uh, in reality this should just be a thought to curve. It should just be a line sloping. Um, you see here, uh, I tested it before and it seems that this uh, function is not yet implemented. Let's see. Uh, Well, for instance, A Z should be changed here if you rotate it, but uh, nothing happens. And also, if you press uh, A here, something should happen, but it doesn't here. So, it seems that the sensors are not red here. But uh, one can print things anyway. Uh, and it's probably nothing wrong with that program because I tested light sensor and uh, accelerometer and so with the Arduino plotter program. But of course, this has a different format here. But uh, this works here if you use uh, the data simulator. But then we have to. Uh... Okay, so it does run here, data simulate. Then we have to start the simulator too. Let's see. Yeah, now we have the simulator here. Let's see here. Well, heading, for instance that you can change here. Hmm. No, it doesn't run. Hmm. Well, this is how it is with beta program. They don't always work, but they should. Oh, something happened here. Ah, this is this uh, counter of lines. But here, if I tilt this, something should happen here. But uh, doesn't because uh, somehow the simulation doesn't run. Can see pause that. Oh. Now. Uh, Oh, this is started uh, there. Oh, this. Oh, maybe I turned off the wrong program, I think. Yes. Okay. Uh, 
but just going to show that the simulator functions also. Mm. Here we can choose between device and simulator. And we can see here uh, mm. Here we have acceleration x. Hmm. That doesn't seem to work here also. So it seems like many sensors doesn't work, neither in the simulator or in uh, the device, the microbit itself. We can press here too. Nothing happened. Yes, anyway, uh, it's uh, good anyway because you can uh, develop most programs. It just is uh, plotting functions that uh, doesn't work. You see here. Mm. And you can import uh, other functions here. And here. Oh. Very bad. It's, uh, always when you press, you get edge. Uh, no! Now you get only edge. When I try to. Turn off edge here. That's fine. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, well, I wanted to press here uh, these different things here. So you can choose the different blocks here. Uh, now, uh, you have these three buttons here, but they uh, are not really necessary here because you could have more. All blocks could fit in this high column here. Oh, um, Yes, and there are more blocks here, and you can add even more here because uh, we have a radio functions, uh, there are devices, you, so you can use the camera here on the, uh, the computer. Then is the surf tab and you have uh, more functions here well, that was not it uh, they are higher up they are here so here you have incoming call and photo and stuff like that and you have bluetooth functions so you can add uh, those there and you have the ordinary. So here are the serial functions that I use when I plot. And then uh, when I plot here, I use uh, this right uh, uh, name value. But on the Arduino, I must print like CSV files, comma separated values using this function here. Uh, okay, that's uh, it for now, I think. Can uh, look at it like this. And now this uh, rotation works.
was stuck a bit before, but uh, everything will probably be fixed uh, so it will work well. By the way, this tablet didn't cost much, uh, only 500 sec, that's like $50 or 50 euro, so it's not that much. Uh, okay, uh, bye for now.